When you try to import a texture from Substance Painter to Unity, it might be a little bit confusing that there is no input for the roughness map, which in Unity is called smoothness. And if you hover metallic, you will see that the smoothness actually takes the input from the alpha of the metallic map. You see metallic R, that means that metallic will take the info from the R channel or the red channel of the texture, and for the smoothness, it's going to take the info of the alpha channel of the metallic map. All right, so this is something that you have to set up. If you go to File, Export Textures, sorry, Export Textures, and Configuration, you will see that you already have some presets for Unity. But I don't really like those because they don't export the height map, for example, or the ambient occlusion. So in my case, I choose to make my own. You can create a new preset, clicking here, and let's say my Unity, and let's see what's the first thing that we need to export. Albedo, that's really easy. Let's choose create an RGB plus A. It will include the red, green, and blue channels, plus an alpha channel if you were to have transparency, all right? And we can rename this. If you click here, the dollar sign, you will name this with the mesh, underscore, and maybe the texture set, and you will name this albedo, all right? And here we wanna take the base color to the RGB, all the RGB channels, there we go, and we are going to take the opacity to the alpha, the gray channel, perfect. Next step, we are going to define the metallic, and as we said, we need the red channel for the metallic and the alpha for the smoothness. So let's copy this. We are going to name this metallic. All right. And let's move the metallic to the RGB, the gray channel. And for the smoothness or the roughness, we are going to use in converted maps, lossness. All right. Let's put it there. So what else we need? The normal maps is pretty simple. This is an RGB channel. We are going to rename this normal. And in the case of Unity, it uses OpenGL normal map, all right? So let's skip that RGB, perfect. Next step, we are going to use a gray channel for the height. And let's simply take the height there. And finally, for the ambient occlusion, we are going to take the ambient occlusion input map. And just because we are here, we are also going to export the emissive map. And let's see where that is. There we go, emissive, RGB, perfect. So once everything is ready, you select your preset in config, the path, the resolution, the file format, and so on. You click export, and we can open the folder. Here we have our channels, and let's move them to Unity. We are going to log this material here, and we are going to start dragging our maps. Here we have the ambient occlusion, here we have the height, here we have the metallic. Of course, there is no metallic because this is a rock, but we need this for the alpha channel so we have the smoothness. All right. And finally, the normal. Fix now. And there we go. You can, of course, then modify the height map and the amount of smoothness here. And that is basically how you can export the texture from Substance Painter to Unity. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, I have some courses on pixel art and on how to create hand painted textures for video games. You will have those links in the descriptions. Thank you and have a nice day.